he had a he had a natural quality to his work, very realistic, almost almost cinematic in a certain way. Without a doubt, Gene's work was was cinematic in in, in its approach. You, you kind of felt like you were watching a movie with Gene because he did have that kind of photographic approach to material and because more so than a lot of guys, he was very conscious of where he put that camera. His approach was cinematic in many regards. He thought about things from his ca camera angles. He, he really was, when, when he drew a comic, it was as if he was directing a film. More so than a lot of guys, he was very conscious of where he put that camera what angle he was taking on, on people. And you look at some of those panels, if you try to imagine them taken from 20 degrees to the left or 20 degrees to the right, they're not as strong, because he just seems to have known the way to attack the work, to show the person's best side, to show the emotional content, when to get the body in and to tell the story with body language, when to get a close-up of someone's reactions. And that's the way he thought of it, and he, he would change his lighting, to get the, the right effect. He would change his camera angle to get the right effect. He would pace his panels. When he was drawing Iron Man or Doctor Strange, maybe he was thinking about Clark Gable or somebody else. He was, he was very much a movie buff and that influence came into his comics work. He was such a unique penciler. Uh, unlike anybody that uh, came before him or I, frankly, I think after him as well.